Zero. Welcome to Peace Now. My name is Trudy Quaif. I'm a member of Bethlehem Neighbors for Peace. We are a local organization of friends and neighbors. We've been advocating for peace and justice for over 15 years. I'm your host today, and I'm joined by Terry Phelan. Welcome, Terry. Oh, thanks for having me. This is great. I've been uh, out there with you the past uh, 11 years or so since I uh, retired. Yeah. And. Uh, Standing at yeah. the corner, at the four corners. Yeah, you know, occasionally. Yeah. For peace. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I brought the guitar down a couple of times, but usually I don't bring it out for the vigil. I'm just there with the sign. Yes, but you've been there for over yeah. 10 years yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terry is a, is a local songwriter and an activist. And I thought before Terry sings us a few songs, I'd like to just ask him a couple of questions about how he came to activism. How did you become aware of? Um, well, oh, well, and this is issues? a long, long time. I was uh, very conservative in high school, and I went away to college in uh, 1969, and uh, that was the year of uh, uh, Kent State in the spring of 1970, and uh, we had the revolution on campus. I, we all got together and shut down the school, and I, uh, it opened my eyes to uh, mm -hmm. the power of, mm -hmm. uh, of group action. And uh, later on in the 70s, I, I got into the uh, anti-nuclear uh, movement, and, uh, and in the uh, 80s and 90s, I got into uh, legalizing cannabis, and uh, in the 21st century into the 9-11 peace movement and then the peace, I've been generally a peace activist all mm -hmm. my life. I've had, I was late picking up guitar. I, I didn't pick it up until I was about 24. But by this point I've been playing for about 40 years. Uh, we're going to start with the, this is actually a Libby Roderick song. She, uh, she's a fine songwriter from Canada. She wrote a, a song called How Could Anyone and her lyrics are, how can anyone ever tell you you're anything less than beautiful? How can anyone ever tell you you're less than whole? And I sort of made it into an empowerment song. It goes like this. How could anyone ever tell you you are anything less than powerful? How could anyone ever tell you there are things you can in a world of exploitation, complacency is unacceptable. Empower yourself. Please become the change. Complacency 
is inexplicable. Empower yourself. Please become the change. for this I think comes from a, a poster that I, I've got on my wall it was actually a page from the peace calendar it says I am no longer accepting the things I cannot change I am changing the things I cannot accept it's from the American Indian movement and that's that's what really in, inspired that mm -hmm. so uh, it was uh, depends on the events that yeah. are happening and yeah it just and comes to you or yeah, basically, uh, you know, it's, as any songwriter will tell you, there's a muse, you know, and sometimes yeah. you're blessed and sometimes not. I've got it. Yeah. Uh, I, um, and it's it's easy very often to take a, a song that somebody else has written and do a parody of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know you've done that a number of times. Yeah, yeah, it, it's 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 easy. Like the the Star Spangled Banner is a parody of uh, an, an old English drinking song. To an acre on in heaven where we sat in full glee, you know, and uh, I didn't know that. Yes, a uh, few sons of harmony sent a petition that he their inspirer and patron would be when this answer arrived from the jolly old Grecian. Voice fiddle and flute no longer be mute. I'll lend you my name and inspire you to boot. And besides, I'll instruct you. Like me to entwine the myrtle of Venus with Bacchus's vine. So it was actually a drinking song from the Anacreonic Society. I guess we shouldn't be surprised. No, but uh, well, I, I've got another uh, a set of lyrics to that. There's a sort okay. of, a, okay. and uh, inspired by Colin Kaepernick. And uh, I'll kneel down to do this because. Uh, okay. I am taking a knee for Philando Castile, Michael Brown, Tommy Rice, Sandra Bland, Eric Garner, Trayvon Martin, Emmett Till, Amadou Diallo, Stephen Clark, Antoine Rose, tragic numbers still growing. As I kneel, you can see Black Lives Matter to me. For too long they've been scorned, snuffed with impunity. Until all humans share justice with equality. Until that comes to be, I am taking a knee. Thank you, Terry. That's a great song. Yeah. That's a really great song. Now, how, how long have you been writing songs and how many have you written? Oh, uh, 
That's a good question. I don't know that I can give you the exact That's number. That's all right. Give me an estimate. Yeah. Oh, a few dozen, I guess. Okay. I, I haven't written that many, uh, you know. But, okay. Uh, Do you have a favorite? What's the, your favorite song that you ever wrote? Oh, uh, well, we were going to say this for the end, but I'll play it now. It's just okay. one that's, uh, and I'll, I'll do something else at the end. But I, okay. this is probably the one I've played out the most. Well, you play, I bet you played this out in the video sometimes. Yeah. George Orwell wrote about a state in 1984 where peace had been abolished and there was eternal war. We've seen it happen times before. How life can mimic art. Instead of war to end, all war is one and only start. War on terror is a war to end all peace. There can never be a victory to make the war cease. Like wars on drugs and poverty, its scope can just increase. War on terror, war to end all Yeah, yes. If you manufacture armaments, you'll greet the snooze with glee. Your business should be booming now for all eternity. Investments in your enterprise show great stability. If only we could say the same for social security. War on terror, it's the war to end all peace. There can never be a victory to make the boring things Like wars on drugs and poverty, its scope can just increase War and terror, war and all peace Terror is amorphous, terror has no face Terror has no uniform or permanent home base Terror has no hand to sign peace treaties in defeat. Terror can't surrender. Terror can't be beat. That's why war on terror is a war to end all peace. There can never be a victory to make the war cease. Like wars on drugs and poverty, its scope can just increase. War on terror. Or end all peace. Authoritarians rejoice, your country is at war. Now government can curtail all those freedoms you deplore. Ironically, you tell the troops what they're fighting for. Well, knowing there's no freedom, we let me need restore. Because war. There can never be a victory to make the war cease. Like wars on drugs and poverty, the scope can just increase. War on terror, war and all peace. As more and more are terrorized by U.S. bombs and shells, we cannot vanquish terror without vanquishing ourselves. Orwell says the point of war is no longer victory, but rather to establish social continuity. We ought to put a stop to this. We ought to set things right. I don't know who can stand a war that has no end in sight. If you support the troops, you want to bring them back alive. And stop the war machine that never ceases to connive. To bring us war on terror, it's the war to end all peace. There can never be any victory to make the war cease. Like wars on drugs and poverty, the scope can just increase. War on terror is war. wasn't about an issue or that didn't have a, 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 an issue behind it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
I didn't put that well, on no, the list, though, right. but I, right. I, 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 I have, yeah, I got yeah. friends. I know you. Talking about them. Uh, <laughs> do you have, are there issues that you'd like to write a song about that you've, you've mm -hmm. never written one about? Do you have things that you'd like to be able to express? But oh, you, yeah, you was, well, I got, a, I got an upcoming gig for Columbus Day weekend. I was wanted to write a song about Indigenous the People's Day, but yeah. the, the muse hasn't hasn't hit me yeah. yet, so uh, yeah. I mean, when I get uh, sometimes I'm, I'm lucky. Sometimes you know, like uh, a friend of mine said, he was he asked me to come and play at a rally for uh, 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 campaign finance reform. I said, gee, I don't have anything on that, but I'll I'll see if I can come up with something. And uh, I came up with this, and the muse came and gave me puppeteer and shadow. It said that there are some things the money cannot buy The government's not included, here's the reason why Without a lot of moolah, every campaign has its woes So ask each politician these questions I propose Who gives you your money? Who do you represent? Who sponsors the positions on which you're so hell-bent? Your TV ads and handouts who pays for all these things? What puppeteer in the shadows is pulling on your strings? Reformers all provisions our laws might represent the interests of those other than just the one percent. So long as the system returns power to the rich, ninety-nine percent can find their interests buried in the ditch. Who gives you your money? Who do you represent? <laughs> oh, yeah. Many politicians are much richer than their constituents. They represent themselves as members of the one percent. <laughs> it's only called class warfare when the poor start fighting back. Always put down with resources, the rich folk never seem to lack. Who gives you your money? Who do you represent? Sponsors the positions on which you're so hell-bent. Your TV ads and handouts, who pays for your campaign? What puppeteer in shadows is pulling on your strings? What puppeteer in shadows is pulling? I've heard you on WRPI. I've uh, I know that you play at the Eden Cafe. I've seen you play and, uh, and, and McGeary's. That's open McGeary's mics. Uh, yeah, open uh, mics. And, okay. uh, I've open mics around. Uh, we have uh, I've played a few times up at uh, uh, Proctor's and uh, okay. up at Schenectady at LTs and uh, up at uh, uh, the Rustic Barn up in uh, Beagletown and okay. places like that. But you play, yeah. I know you play at rallies. And yes, I played at rallies. I played, uh, I, I played the empowerment song at the uh, state capitol with uh, Terry Robin set up a, mm -hmm. um, a sound system there, and uh, we at one of the uh, rallies that we had there. So, how yeah. do people generally respond to your music? Do you think it's uh, people uh, well, really appreciate your message? Do you think they understand? Some do, and yeah. some don't. I mean, that's that's yeah. that's the way life is, you know. Right. I right. I try to reach as many people as I can, and mm -hmm. uh, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's a powerful way to reach people. Mm -hmm. I think it really is important, and you're so talented. You do a great job. Would you like to do one more song here? We don't have time for two. Let's see. We'll see how long it is. Let's see. Well, the night uh, we had the rally, a bunch of us were singing the night before the war started uh, down at the Capitol mm -hmm. at uh, singing peace songs um, before the war began with Iraq, and this was mm -hmm. back in what, 2003. Mm -hmm. And people started singing God Bless America, and the words just stuck in my throat. I couldn't, I couldn't sing it. And I went back home that night and I, I took the, 
you know, the first line from um, yeah. then God bless him the, uh, from the song, and I added it to like the chords from like uh, San Francisco Bay Blues, and mm -hmm. it came out with something like that called No Excuse for War. God bless America. England, France, and Russia, too. God bless the end. You will swim back then. All those folks, both Koreas, too. May this planet be. At peace tonight. There's no excuse for war, you know it's true. Thank you, God, for having blessed it. Oh, my world. Now, please bring us peace, not war. Please make it. stand up and you know and uh, you know let uh, let the world know that uh, we're not you know if you don't if you don't take a stand uh, when you're surrounded by injustice the injustice will continue but if you if you do take a stand as I said before we can we can I, I believe in my heart that we can we can change it otherwise mm -hmm. if I didn't believe it in my heart I wouldn't do be it. able to do it yeah, yeah. well thank so you so helpful. much for well, yeah, 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 we still have. Uh, I, I oh, okay. Well, we still have about six minutes, so uh, why don't you do one more, and we'll see what we're doing for time at that, at that point. I'll do one I didn't write. Okay. This is an old blues song. Nobody actually knows who wrote this. Another man done gone. Another man done gone. Another man done 
issues and advocating for peace and justice how what would you suggest that they do to connect up with other people like you oh well I'll just go out and, and start playing I mean uh, would that yeah. be like at an open mic yeah that's like a, a good place to go day? yeah that's a good place yeah what, what number right. would the that's, week you that's Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday and McGarry's is uh, Wednesday McGarry's and, is Wednesday yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah I've got a I got a gig coming up at the Eden. I don't know if we want to mention it on the air because I don't know if it'll air before the time. No, That's, no. All right, no. all right. But, but so you often go yeah. to the Eden Cafe. Yeah, I do. Right? Yeah, so I do. Yeah, people could, could probably see you there. Yeah, yeah. I know. I, I usually play other other songs there. I've been playing like uh, I'll, the crowd there. They like uh, like old uh, TV uh, things like. Uh, yeah, oh. like oh, Gilligan's Island and stuff like that. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I play a whole oh, lot of fun too. stuff. Yeah, I do. Okay. I do. I play all kinds of okay. fun well, stuff. Yeah. Now, and your guitar isn't exactly like other guitars. This right? is a Vagabond Travel uh, guitar. You go to uh, stringsmith.com. That's the website of uh, Kevin Smith, who's been making these for the last 40 years or oh. so. And, okay. Uh, up mm -hmm. and down in Castleton, New York, so. All right. Well, yeah. now, we're just about to wind it up here. we got about a minute and a half. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add to what we've talked about today? Or no, I, 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 oh, I, 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 if I got into, you know, like talking about the issues of, uh, like, why, you know, I believe we have all these wars be, and, and uh, why we have all this injustice and... Uh, it would take more than a minute and a half. Yeah, so, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Uh, I, I'll, I've, I'll try to get out as much as I can in my music and yes. uh, hope well, I that think that's really important. people will. Yeah, we'll think about it. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for being here. Well, thank here. you for this having me. A, it's been a great treat and a, an honor. Well, this was a pleasure for me too. Show. Thank you so yeah. much, Terry. And yeah. thank you all for joining us. Thank you.